They're oh, good yeah. vaccinating the kids. After oh, this. Oh, after this. I'm just saying, he has new kids. Is it? I need to know. This is Chrissy Chaos. This, we, our, you know, vaccines are in the news. I know yes. you've been Googling it. Yep. I know you're a big fan of RFK Jr., yep. a man of the people. You know how the Kennedys are? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, just, I, just people of the working well, class, the Kennedys. I, I support the Catholics. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you? I just, I listen, the RFK dude, he's, he's quite interesting. Yes. Everything, you know, I watch the Rogan stuff, and I'm curious about it. But I do get a little bit of... Um, I know a discomfort at Kennedy saying that they're like out here for the working class, right? Because they're like the young Kennedys have you know been partying in New York for a while, sure, and they don't exactly party working class. And I won't say which one, but there's an iconic story in the city of one of the young girl Kennedys trying to go out to a nightclub and they wouldn't let her in, and she said out loud. The airport's named after me. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> fire. Fire. Oh, that's so Holy shit. She didn't say one of. She yeah, said yeah. The, 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 the. The airport. That's, you gotta pick one. That's, the, that's true. So I'll that's elect her. True. That's I'll true. elect her straight up. Yeah. Oh, Wait, smart. so I don't, I don't think I know what's going on because I have I've been a little bit outside the news. Because again, with kids, you don't you can't really do what you want to do. You're in fourth place in your own life. What's going on with RFK <laughs> Jr.? What's going on? He went on Rogan and what happened? Are well, the he, Kennedys coming back? Uh, yeah, it might be. I don't Maybe. know. Okay. I think we're seeing why they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> they like to push the buttons a bit, you know? Yeah, they get killed a yeah. lot. They get yeah. killed a lot. They but then you go and you see the Rogan episode, you're like, oh, yeah, he's he's taking shots at everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got to watch that Rogan episode. I haven't been, uh, I have, because you know what. Basically he, saying the COVID vaccine might be a little fugaze. I don't really. <laughs> I'm going to say something smart posture. This is the, yes. you know, when you cross the leg, I no. don't really know. No, no, I'm not, I, I do think, though, for me, with the getting the kids vaccinated, okay. I personally, yeah. personally, because, you know, I believe in God, the creator. So I'm like, listen, if whatever God's little immune system, God made my kids, va he vaccinated them before he sent them down, down the chute. <laughs> yeah. So my thing is like, let my children's immune system do their job. Mm. If we reach a point where it's very clear that we need to get modern medicine involved, we'll get modern medicine involved. Yeah. This whole thing of, here's the thing, I have zero issue it's the same reason why I, I picked, you know, Ryan Holiday and the Daily Stoics advice because it's 2,000 years old. It's battle tested mm. as opposed mm. to a new age thinker who may or may not be right, but they haven't got the years of experience. So for me, I'm like the certain vaccines have got those years of experience. I got no issue giving my kid this certain vaccines, a flu shot or anything like that. That's been around. Battle tested. Battle tested. The yeah. new vaccines, it just hasn't been battle tested yet. You need yet. to be battle tested, so yeah. So I just need it. To, I need some years before I can do that. You don't buy the first iPhone. You no. wait. They get, the, they get the kinks out of it. Mm. Yes. Yes. So that's, so for me, so you that's. you think there's some kinks in the latest COVID vaccine? I think. Did you get boosted? <laughs> do they no. even sell that in Santa? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you go yeah. to the boosters, there's two guys in leather jackets yeah. ready to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got some Biden voters here. Yeah. <laughs> Tour updates, London, you already know. Tickets on pre-sale right now. Code is Andrew. Uh, also, this weekend, we're going to be in Temecula, California. That's already sold out. And Reno, we had a second show. A few tickets left for that one. Uh, we're going to be adding more cities very soon, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for coming out to all these shows. Uh, incredibly excited. And Toronto, thank you guys so much. That was unbelievable, man. Uh, both shows at the Scotiabank Arena sold out. Uh, thank you so much. Incredible, incredible, incredible. And uh, let's keep cooking, man. More dates to be added very soon. Peace. Also, guys, big announcements tour-wise. First of all, I am taping my first full-length one-hour special in Houston at the White Oak Music Hall September 1st. The first show sold out within 24 hours. Y'all are amazing. So we added a second show, but those are almost gone as well. So hurry up and buy your tickets, akashsing.com. Also, there's a lot more dates on there that you can find, including some new dates. I think we added, we moved Salt Lake City, we added Poughkeepsie, but more importantly, Zanies, y'all sold that shit out so fast that we added two more shows. So July 13th is sold out, but we added the 14th and 15th, I believe. You might need to check your calendar, but the, the Friday and Saturday shows we added at Zanies. So go to akashsing.com, buy your tickets for Zanies, buy your tickets for the special taping. We're elevating the fuck out of this year. I love y'all, thank y'all so much. Now let's get back to the show. You know, it's unfortunate the government put put us in that predicament. It's yeah. unfortunate that they did that, not yeah. us. Yeah. And, and uh, but yeah, but I'm not, I don't think, you know, the booster now, you know, you hear about all these problems. I'm just like, you know what, I'll take a shot I'll take a shot at, you know, my own immune system 
doing what it does, you know? And, uh, and Is there say, no part of you that's like, it'd be kind of cool, like seeing the success of, of a lot of autistic people, there's no part of you that like you see it as an advantage? Oh, make no mistake, I, when I was- This is our way to compete with China. Like we need to autism be, up some yeah. kids. Yeah. yeah, make no mistake, when I was a pediatric physical therapist, I, you know, I, I worked Doctor. With, Yes. Doctor. Yeah, I mean, of physical therapy. So it's like, bro, come on, come on, come on, dude. Come on, man. Gas you up, bro. Yeah. Oh, fine. Let us pick uh, you yeah. up here on the pot a little bit. Doctor Di um, <laughs> I, I, All the real doctors at home are saying the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I was yeah, happy. We have a, we have a, a medical yeah, professional yeah, yeah. to talk I about that too. Are you a nurse? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nurse? yeah. Oh, not, yeah, but I'm a nurse. nurse. The same way you're. But so uh, the only the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man just took away his doctor. Come on, bro. Come, Come on, 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 dude. Bro, uh, to be what honest with you, you, it's like if it uh, if it was that important to me, I would have the diploma. Uh, I don't even know where my diploma is. I have no idea where that diploma is. I'm not shitting on physical therapy. I think it was a great profession, but yeah, you're not a real. You have to be very clear. I have a clinical doctor. It is so different from what actual real <laughs> doctors or even nurses. Dude, I would argue like if somebody went down right now, you should go to the guy in the bucket hat before you went to me. <laughs> I would go. I would go to the and nurse. Then go to Duff because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. he goes bucket hat, then the Jewish guy, yeah. 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 then the physical therapist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I, uh, I, I when I worked with the children who had autism, dude, I almost felt like they're so smart and they're operating at such a different wavelength that it's not so much that. Wait, why'd you work with the kids with autism? Be oh, because you physical therapy it out of them? No, no, I tried. <laughs> um, I would put dodgeball and just let one rip. <laughs> no. I know you're faking it. <laughs> well, no, you had all different kinds of kids. You had kids with cerebral palsy, muscular okay. dystrophy, so they'll, yeah. you know, they kids just throw them in there. We'll, yeah, we'll just throw them no in there. Physical, no physical, they're in the mix. At all, yeah, they yeah. just throw them in there It was there so anyway. funny, literally, my second day on the job, the principal calls me into the office, she goes, Chris, how's everything? I was like, it's good, I'm loving it, having fun. She goes, it's great. She goes, we're, we're having a good time. She goes, I just have to remind you again, you cannot run up and down the hallways with the kids holding them like footballs. You're not allowed to do that and then spike them into beanbags. Because I was the only male, that's a very female-oriented profession, yeah. so I was the only guy. Mm -hmm. I was the only guy there, so I mean, I was having so much fun with these kids, but she was like, again, you know, they, some of these kids are feeding He's tubes, kind of and they have issues, and you're having a good time, and we're no, but I, it's a liability. Yeah. So, but the children with autism, you would work with them, you know, they needed, you know, motor skills or they needed to, you know, they would have weaknesses here and there. And I was like, man, these kids, they they just can't communicate. But I would always fascinate them. Like, what is happening in their brains? Because they'll be able to, like, focus on something for, like, you ever seen, like, the Blair Witch? Yeah. When, uh, like, I forgot which one it was, where, like, there's the, the, the witch is just looking at something for four hours. Like, she's uh. just, and it's creepy to see someone just stare. They would do that sometimes. Like, oh. yo, something monumental has to be happening in their brain for them to just be staring at something, you, whatever, for uh, and you cannot break their concentration. I'm like, mm. some, some, something wild. So the going. witch just had autism. That's what it is. Yeah, the, witch, the witch just had autism. It's a bit umbrella, this, the term autism, mm -hmm. I think. Well, it's, it's a spectrum. Rid of it's a spectrum. No. They don't even yeah. call it. They're just on the autism spectrum. And also, it's, it's a spectrum, but not in the way that like it gets worse. No, or it, that's not what they mean by spectrum. It's not no, like, oh, you I got a 99 out of 100, or you're like a two of 100. They're just different ways you could be autistic. So some people got the math autism. Some people, they're just staring, and then they do nothing oh, no, autism. Make, make, no, make no mistake. I mean, make... But doesn't no, it seem a little umbrella? Like, I feel like there's different things that are also wrong, and we're just... Oh, no, you, you can go... The, the talent... So many talented people are on the spectrum. I mean, Elon Zuckerberg, Musk, Elon, Rock, yeah. Chris Rock, Rock, Rock. Lex. I knew Chris Rock. I felt when aren't I, they ruining it for actually autistic people? Yeah, what yeah, happened? Because yeah. yeah. now we look at the autistic people and we're like, what the? Well, why aren't you smart? Like, call <laughs> yourself something else or just be quiet about it. Because you're not normalizing them. <laughs> right. They're just looking like losers. <laughs> right. Right. right? Like, yeah, you're, you're kind of an asshole if you're successful and you claim autism. Mm. Right. So that you can get even more pats on the back. Like you're the richest guy in the world and you're autistic. Aw. Yeah. Yeah. It must yeah, be right. so hard. Well, I think a lot of people now lean into something they, there. They yeah. lean into autism. Like and now everybody's, you know, if, if you do something good or bad. I'm autistic. You, yeah, you can blame it on autism. It's yeah. like, you're not. Can't you just be weird? What happened to just being a little weird? Yeah. There's autistic people, and then Elon Musk Sometimes is a I weird. think I think they do yeah. it for playing time. Like, remember at the end of the season in high school where you throw the autistic kid in? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah. I think that some of the, the worst basketball players in high school are just being like, <laughs> yeah, I got it, bro. Like, can I get yeah. a few minutes? Yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Minutes, I want to shoot a wide open three. Yeah. Yeah. Get carried out yeah, of Put me in the corner, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Garbage time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. I remember one time uh, when I was pl I played college basketball. And, you know, it was Division three, very low Division three. So I was playing like. This guy, it's you always discredit yourself. It's you were all American, were you not? 
It's not. It's not. Dis- Were you not all American? I want Division Three. I just want to. I just want to be clear. He's very Catholic. Just like I'm a doctor, I'm Catholic. not a doctor. Just like, like just come like, on. Just like I want to be clear from what he said in the beginning. Please come out September 23rd to. Fear. <laughs> but it's the baby garden, okay? Yeah. It's not. It's the Please, little. Chrissy. It's not the big one, okay? But but we're. Wait, it, first of all, it but is, I am on a path to, to get in. Let me I do just believe say, in myself. It's a. It is a big. Yes. Huge venue still. We're not talking oh, yeah. about we're a talking li- about five thousand seats. Yeah, Just come on. Okay, so let's not discredit. Yeah, I saw, stuff. I saw. I took the kids to see Coco Melon there last year. Oh, oh really? So you yeah, know yeah. Coco Melon numbers? That's what. Oh, dude, dude. no, Coco Melon sells out. <laughs> Bro, Coco Melon is huge. Yeah. 